Today, we are gonna talk about some Hoyas. So grab your kombucha, your coffee, or if you're like me, your wine, and let's just get into it. We are just first meeting. My name is Sharina and in this channel we talk about bringing more plants into our home because I do believe that the more plants we have, the more purpose we have in our life. If you're new, consider subscribing. I have learned so much about Hoyas this past year. Honestly, I don't do very much with them. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I am a pretty lazy plant mom, meaning I don't really like anything that requires a lot of work. Call me lazy. I don't care. It is very true. Yes, I know Hoyas do tend to get mealy bugs but if I were to get any kind of pest in my plants I would prefer mealy bugs I think they're the easiest to treat come on mealy bugs come for me <laughs> Why don't I show you exactly where my Hoyas reside? Just so you know exactly what we're working with. So you're gonna come with me over to the living room. Let's go. Welcome to my living room. To the right is my beautiful Mod Sprout grow frame. Not sponsored, but if anybody knows anybody at Mod Sprout, please tell them to holla at your girl. Anyways, this is exactly where they live right now, where most of them live. I've got about four of my favorite Hoyas living under this grow frame because I want them to get so much light during the winter and I have found that other than the windowsill, so this is the best place they can live right now. This is not a Hoya, this is a Deshidia that I got for free, but everyone else is a Hoya. Let me get all of these guys out of the grow frame and back into my office, okay? So give me one second. <laughs> got him! Okay, welcome back. Again, like I said, I'm not really doing anything super special with them. I just give them the required light. A lot of mother light. Two, water is needed. I use a moisture meter, but I do wait till they are 100% completely dry with the exception of a couple of Hoyas. So we're going to start with this one. Hoya Macrophylla Variegata. I don't want this thing to hit me right there, but... I also received some comments that this was possibly the Hoya Macrophylla Albo Marginata, I believe. I'm not sure if that's the name. I think it's because it has the pink. So let's do the makeup guru YouTuber thing and show you the leaf. I have to say this has the most beautiful veining that I have ever seen. And the texture is just so beautiful. I love how it feels. I love kind of like the little squares that it has. One thing that I have learned with Hoyas is that they adore light. They love so much bright light. This is underneath the grow frame. No, it's getting a kind of, it's not necessarily getting the bad rays, I think. Don't quote me on this. It's not getting like UV rays or the bad part of the sun, but it is getting the type of light that it needs. I'm not a grow light expert. All I know is I love the grow lights that I use. The edges of this one has been a beautiful beautiful, beautiful pink. So I got this Hoya at a local nursery here in LA. P.S. made a video about it, so I will link it right up there or in the description below so you can see my adventure of searching for this beautiful Hoya. It wasn't really an adventure. I actually just found it on Instagram and then I went over there. Next one that I want to show you is her brother, which is the pot of gold, which is the reverse version, and this definitely needs water. <laughs> the variegation is on the inside, meaning the white is on the inside instead of the outline. So let's just compare the two so you can see the difference. As you can see with this leaf right here, the variegation is in the outside. Can you see that? You can, right? <laughs> So as you can see right over here with the big leaves right up here, you can see that the variegation is the outline. So the white part of this beautiful Hoya is on the outline as opposed to this one having the variegation in the middle. Does that make sense? Something that I haven't done, which I've been really, really bad at, is to switch this over to soil because right now it looks like it's just in a bunch of bark and it's drying out super fast. Since they're all living in that same place, I want to keep all of these guys in the same watering schedule. So I I've got to switch this into soil ASAP. I used to think that Hoyas did not grow at all, but ever since I've gotten them in that grow frame, all of these guys, with the exception of this pot of gold one, has grown so many new leaves. I've had that grow frame for less than six months, but within six months, all of these guys, except for this guy right here, has grown so many leaves. Let me give you an example. This is a new growth. 
all of the much pinker ones that are on the uh, middle part of the stem here are all new. Everything else that's been coming out of this Hoya Macrophylla or Arbo Marginata has been all from sitting in that grow frame. There's even a lot of really teeny leaves growing out of this. Within the next, I wanna say month or so, this will be pretty much a full grown leaf. And I think it's just so crazy that for the longest time, I always thought that Hoyas grew so slow, but they did, yes, because it was my fault because I wasn't giving them what was required, which is a lot of light. The next one is super exciting. It is very unique, very different for me. I don't have anything like this. This is my Hoya Obscura, I believe is what it's called. And look at this beautiful red leaves. It is just so gorgeous. It also has some wonderful lime veining to it. Now, one of my favorite things about Hoyas is how prominent the veins are, how beautiful the patterns are, and how thick they are. I really love that about Hoyas. I think just the thickness of the leaves is just so different and unique. <laughs> you see this guy? Like, I want to be on camera. Going back to them being in that grow light, look at the new growth with this guy. Also, I got this from another local nursery here in LA called Rainbow Plants by Rainbow PS I also made a video about that one that will be linked right up here shout out to Elton I love this one so much and new growth alert hello right there it looks like it's also going to be a little bit red I can see some of the redness coming out of it I don't know if you can and there's more right there this is so exciting so the next one is called Hoya Philippines Although I'm not exactly sure if that is the name of this one. Look at this. I got this from Rainforest Flora. So this whole stem is brand spanking new growth. You can also tell because it's not as green as the older leaves as compared to this one. Now there's also some new growth coming out of a different stem, which is right over here. And you could even see more little tiny baby leaves that's on the stem of this one. I really love how long it's grown more that I want to show you. Let's go get them. I want to show you where these other Hoyas live. Well, the other set of Hoyas live right here. Again, getting so much light. This is probably the best humidifier I have ever owned. Here's my Hoya Bella. Here's my other one. And there's another one right back there. And Hoya Bella. I am not sure what this one is called. I've got a couple of Hoyas propagating right now. This is really hard, okay? Because I don't want to drop them. So we're back here. Actually have one more Hoya that I'm gonna get. One more that we are going to bring over. All right, this one that I wanna show you that I'm currently propagating right now is the Hoya Red Button, Red Button. This one is really cool. It does have some reddish leaves. It's a little bit dirty right now. I did not clean her for you. And it has really, really cool pink speckles. And this is actually a really large leaf. Again, it has that beautiful thickness that Hoyas have. The stems actually look a little bit red as well. And I've been propagating this not too long. I don't know, a couple of months, and it has some wonderful roots. I believe I did get it with roots already. I love that it has new growth right over there. Hopefully you can see the baby leaves right there, and it is looking pretty good. Can't wait till this is potted up and added to my grow frame. I don't even know how it's gonna fit in there, but um, this is just one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. What I have propagating is this one right here. Honestly, I don't know what this is called. Also, this hasn't grown at all. Like, <laughs> was in soil. I found that it wasn't growing. But now thinking back, I don't think I had it in really good light. Now, this whole discovering about Hoyas loving a lot of bright light is all new for me. I used to always think they were fine in medium light because I have Hoyas that are in medium light that have pretty much survived. Check out the veining. I got it from Rainforest Flora. Now earlier I talked about how much I love the veining and all the Hoyas that I have but this one has probably one of the best ones I've ever seen. And I love the light green color of it. And actually you have to check to see, hopefully it is okay because it hasn't grown one bit ever since. This is a much different Hoya from the rest of them because 
first of all she is living in some moss if you watched my video on andy's orchids you know that i purchased this over there hoya lancifolia variegata aka hoya bella variegated now this has also grown so much ever since i got it back in september and it is just doing so well despite the fact that it living in moss is a pain in the butt because it requires so much bottom watering and frequent bottom watering all that growth right over in the ends all of it is new growth you're not going to be able to see it right now but there is a peduncle the smallest peduncle ever in life in the very end of this hoya bella and i think there could be one here ah oh, i think it just fell off dang it so this hoya bella is one of those plants that i do not wait till it is 100 percent completely dry i actually water it all the time like every two to three days or so okay same with this one right this is the hoya linearis that i actually got as a cutting and look how much she has grown when i got this it was just one stem or one strand and now it has three or four i got this one as a cutting it's grown a few more stems since i got it a long time ago transferred it in soil it's in a i think a two to three inch pot but so adorable this hoya linearis is another one of those that i definitely don't wait till it's 100 percent dry I actually keep it wet same as the hoya bella so these two are special diva hoyas i definitely do not wait till they dry out they like to be a little bit more wet the hoya bella has a little bit thinner leaves compared to the regular hoyas and this one i mean this doesn't even look like a leaf it's just something fuzzy kind of just like a fuzzy little stem it's like a bunch of stems <laughs> right it's really weird to imagine how these flowers right but it is so cool so i saw it in andy's orchids i did a video on it it's gonna be linked right up there where the flower is just on the end of it and it's just so cool really hard to imagine how this would flower if you're coming to la and you want to see some of the plant shops that i visited i actually created a playlist for you that i'm going to link right up here and if you want to see some other videos like the time i got a free plant from the plant chica herself i'm going to link that right over here also i appreciate you so much and i will see you in the next video bye